The capital city of Zimbabwe is Harare. Harare is mentioned in the Bible in a name given to one of King David's mighty men. 2 Samuel 23.11 says, Shama, the son of Aji, the Hararite. 2 Samuel 23.33 says, Ahim, the son of Shara, the Hararite. The Hararite. The Hararite. Hara is a holy name uttered in the Bible. The name Hararite shares etymological roots with Harare. It is mentioned in the Bible in relation to David's mighty warriors. Hararite means a person from the mountains. Hararites are a clan or place where two of David's elite god come from. Zimbabwe and Ethiopia are twin flames. They have a holy story that's explored in the greatest place on earth. The greatest place Hara on earth. is a city in Ethiopia where Harari people came from. There's a street in Ethiopia named Zimbabwe. Ethiopia and Zimbabwe aren't the only places of interest in the Bible. The heart of Africa is named the Congo. It used to be known as Zaire. Zaire is a name mentioned in the Bible. So Joram went over to Zaire and all the chariots with him. And he rose by night and smote the Edomites. 2 Kings 8.21 Zaire comes from the Bantu term Nzere which was pronounced as Zaire by the Portuguese. Zere or Zende means river that swallows all rivers. The sound of Bantu words traces back to etymological roots in the Middle East and Mesopotamia. The Congo is hiding a secret. It has one of the earliest societies in Africa, and that society is known as the Jews of Congo. Jews of Congo. According to Kaluna.org, one of the leaders of the Jewish communities, members of the Luba tribe, are Jews of Congo. Though it is the largest tribe, and millions of Luba people are aware of their Jewish roots, most feel disconnected and fearful of diving into their own heritage. The religious environment here in the Congo is not very open to anything other than Christianity, so they feel trapped. 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 trapped, trapped. The Luba settled in Central Africa for thousands of years. They are native to the Congo and they are also Jewish. Africa is the oldest continent with the oldest people all over the world. More so, they are the chosen people. With the suffrage and poverty in Africa, does it mean they are chosen to suffer? If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. It is the glory of God to hide things. It is the glory of kings to find things. The Luba are the Jews of Congo. Baluba translates to meaning lost tribes. Their language and customs are of Jewish origins. The similarities are in the name and idea of God, water, people, and much more. Zimbabwe, Congo, and Ethiopia aren't the only countries with traces of Jewish cultures. Watch the Black Jews of Africa for more on that. This was Congo in the Bible.